Hello friends, we are discussing about Laravel 9 tutorial. Last few days we uploaded some videos on that and we already discussed about the uh, how to installation, what is the structure and uh, what is the routing system. In this video we are going to discuss about Laravel controller, right? So we will discuss Laravel controller with the new features of Laravel 9, right? So what is controller? actually controller is in under mvc framework and mvc is model view controller structure and laravel fully maintain the mvc framework right so last day we discussed about routing and that time we discussed about using the closer functions right so instead of defining all your request this is the request is a route and this is the gate this is the method you can post you can put delete whatever this is actually the methods right so last day when we discussed about the routing concept that time we have not discussed about the controller that time we actually using all the things using the closer function this function is basically the closer function now instead of defining all your request handling logic as a closer in your route file we can organize functionality through the controller right so how to create a controller right so first things how to create a controller so simply for a general purpose controller there is uh, many types of controller i will discuss uh, step by step so for, for general purpose uh, controller to create any controller we need to use php artisan make and after that controller c o n t r o l l e controller and suppose i am going to create a home controller right so let's create a home controller and just enter this a controller created successfully now if i just go to the visual studio code and check the controller directly. so now just go to the app inside the app we will get http inside the http we will get the controller and this is the home controller which i just created all right so this is our controller now let's create a function and let's call that from the routes and let's see from the browser so three step first let's create a controller suppose i'm creating a controller public function and suppose my function name is index right so here to create a new function we need to use the function keyword and public is the access specifier or access modifier you can say it is a public private protected by default all are using public and if you want to uh, make your function as uh, private you can make it private or you can write as well as protected now for basic discussion i will create a public function and i will access that function from the routes okay so now this is the function and i want to see something from the controller how we can see this simply return this is home controller right and now how to call the home controller index function from the routes so simply use the namespace app http controllers and simply register your home controller here app http controllers and then the home controller right so now home controller is known to web.php now if i just want to call the index function simply we can create a route simply let's create a route and we will enter this url from the browser so we'll use the gate functions or gate methods so simply just write get and simply write home and as we uh, register the home controller so we can get access of home controller from here home controller colon colon class this is the scope resolution operator this colon colon actually called the scope resolution operator and after that let's mention the function name which you want to call right so index is the function name as we can see so now to call these functions simply just go to this home url so just go here slash home and you can see this is home controller and this is actually coming from the home controller page right so now we can understand how to create a controller and how to call controller functions from the routes okay now the next thing is 
if I want to pass some parameter suppose I want to pass a home and I want to pass some name uh, like uh, suppose John okay this is the name I want to pass so now it's showing 404 not found but I want to pass that thing so how we can pass this simply just like a normal routes last we already discussed still I will discuss as we are passing these things into the controller so simply as you can take any parameter suppose write a name and we can get access of that name from the home controller so just write in the index file and name okay and if you want to uh, print these things so simply write this is home controller and name is and the name is let's concatenate name okay now refresh this we are getting this is home controller and the name is John cool now if I just go again to the home page then what happened it's showing 404 not found so I don't want to do this I want if I want to uh, provide any name then will show otherwise if I not provide it will simply redirect to the home page means our parameter will be optional right so if I just provide David David is opening great but if I not provide any things it should also open means the parameter should be optional how we can create optional parameter so simply uh, just write here dollar name and here simply write question mark so name became optional now but if this is optional then inside this function it will not get that time it may get error so let's check this wow the error is coming so if i just provide the home and we are not getting the parameter so we are getting too few arguments to functions that is the error so by default we need to pass something so simply write uh, by default i am setting null okay and now if i just refresh this we are getting this is home controller and the name is null so we are not getting anything so we can write a condition if dollar name is null then simply return these things this is home controller right otherwise we will return the text with the name okay so simply just to go here and write this okay now if you check this is home controller and if i pass anything suppose uh, raj and the name is raj that's cool things so now let's create another function suppose uh, let's write public function uh, suppose function name is suppose blog i want to see the blog so here we can write a blog and simply write written and this is block page okay great now just uh, same way just register this same thing so just copy this and paste it here and just write a block so that we can call this block functions and we don't need this parameter and the ul will be block okay so now just to go to the blog it will open right so we have a two route functions and we are calling two separate functions now laravel 9 provides another things that is the controller group functions right so when you are accessing the same controller and you are accessing different different functions you can make a group of that that means if you write in this way simply write route and simply write controller and inside the controller if you just write your controller name that is the home controller and colon colon class and we don't need this actually these things and simply make a group so that right here group and let's create a closer function so here just write a function and inside this function whatever we will write for this function right so simply just create a route and just write a gate and just write these things right your oh, home and name and it will calling the index function 
so simply write index in this way okay and in the same way if I just going to write the next things so simply write route gate and these things so just copy whole things and I will remove this other part which don't need and this way okay so basically this is the same thing so first I just uh, closing these things and let's see how many routes inside my application so simply write php artisan route list okay so we can see we have a route list that is the blog and home and we can pass the name that is optional these two things right and if i just uh, go here and close this we will not get that things so these two things are not there and now if i just open this we will get the same things right so let's clear and let's run again we are getting the same things right means these two lines are equivalent to these two lines means if i just create a multiple functions like index blog suppose i am going to create portfolio uh, student teacher whatever we have a menu we can create different function for that and suppose my application is using uh, lots of controller means hundreds of controller and there are lots of functions so in this way if i just make a group of that that time it will helpful to find our functions and the code will looks good right so this is the level 9 updates things okay so this is all about the controller this is the basic controller things so now if i just going to create another type of controller right a resource controller so what is the actually the resource controller right so when we create laravel route controller by default laravel provides a complete structure of creating a basic route also in a single line we can register all the routes right so let's create and let's see how this helpful so simply just write php artisan make controller and suppose my controller name is student controller and I want to create a resource type controller so simply double hyphen and write resource r-e-s-o-u-r-c okay and now again a controller created successfully now the thing is if I just going to check the student controller we are getting this type of functions already defined it means when you just go to the home controller this is the blank things only we have a class structure and all those things we are created but if you look at the student controller all the thing is created that is display listing of the resource for listing purpose they created the index function and to show the from and create a new resource we are using the create function and for storing they are using store functions for display they have show functions and they have edit update delete all the things which we need to create a basic crude application all right so this is little advanced so for basic crude application and to create a basic crude application you can use that things and the interesting thing is now if i just go here and check the route list we can see only those two things but if i just simply use a single line of code and to register a resource controller we can write a single line of code so first we need to do first we need to register these things use app slash http slash controllers and then just register the register part is same so we need to use the student controller we need to use the namespace and to register all the routes all the functions of these routes in a single line simply write route resource r-e-s-o-u-r-c-e and uh, simply just write your url so here simply write student and your student controller class all right now let's check what is happening now if i just going to see the route list we can see all the student function is registered right so index store create so update destroy all the things right so this is all about the laravel controller features if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section 
and next we are going to discuss about Laravel views so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day